Welcome to this screencast. We are going to create a very simple chart in Office 365 in order to present the results of our questionnaires. This is for my GCSE Business Study students and my name is Mr. Gova. We have already got five questionnaires and have prepared some tables to present the results. We've here a yes no question and over here a one to five sliding scale question. I've already entered some data. Next, I need to calculate the total for each one of these results. To do this, I'm going to click in total and then type the formula equal sum open bracket and with the mouse I select all the lines for my five questionnaires. Once I've done that, I can do a copy, paste and as it's exactly the same formula here, I can also paste it all there. Now that we've got our total calculated, we can use just the column heading and the line for the total together to create our simple charts with Office 365. To do that, I've selected the data and the headings I want to show in my chart. Then I go to Insert column and here is my first chart showing us that I've got three yes answers and two no answers in my questionnaire. Let's do the same thing for the sliding scale question. I select the column headings. This was a sliding scale question from one to five so I've got one, two, three, four and five and then the row for the data that I want to display. Again, insert, column, and there we are with the result of my second question for the questionnaire. So, as you've noticed, I am not using a Windows computer for this screencast. This is on purpose to reassure you that whatever you're using, a, a tablet or an Apple Mac to do your homework at home, you should be able to do this very simple chart using Office 365. You all have access to it and I do look forward to seeing the results of your homework. Thank you for listening.